people. Let's talk about this Venezuelan thing. Yesterday or Wednesday on the program, we got a phone call from someone from Aurora, right? I don't know if he was calling from Aurora, but he was calling about this particular And he asked uh, me if I heard situation. about this sort of like fake story going around that the right wing is pushing that there's gangs of like a Venezuelan gang that has taken over a building in Aurora, Colorado. Right. And he's like, and I'm like, no, I haven't heard anything about this at all. And he's like, it's, it's crazy because it is being perpetrated by a slumlord who has been cited by Aurora apparently for years now in not servicing this building. And there's been a protest by people in the building and the way that the landlord who is an absentee landlord at a, like, I mean, literally may, I think he said was in Florida or a different state. Um, Very typical of these corporate landlords, slumlord types who apparently the complaints were of unsafe and unsanitary conditions, garbage, feces, rodents all over the place. And they are trying to make it as if this thing has been sort of infiltrated by this Venezuelan gang. Now, it's conceivable that there are Venezuelans living in there. It's conceivable that there are, you know, uh, criminals living in there. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if it's an impoverished have, you know, area or impo a building that is, you know, run down or maybe rent is well, lower. We have right? uh, criminals uh, living in, uh, you know, Mar-a-Lago as, as far as far as concerned. But um, it's quite pop. But the idea that this building has been taken over by gangs, um, Venezuelan gangs is, uh, quite the story. And here is, um, CBS Colorado reporting on this. Uh, I think they're probably just as like sort of flummoxed by these like sort of myths that are going around, but you know, well, let's play this clip. Well, it's not the gangs, but the landlords that are their biggest threat. And that's according to some people living in an Aurora apartment building that is at the center of an ongoing gang situation. Your reporters in Aurora have been following this ongoing situation involving Venezuelan gang members closely. We showed you this video and others that have been circulating online and creating outrage on both sides of the border debate. It shows men with rifles in the halls of a building at 12th and Dallas. A former resident released this video saying gang members have taken control of the building and are terrorizing the people who live there. Tori Mason is your reporter in Aurora and has been following this closely for you. And Tori, residents say the conditions in that building are horrible. Yes, and police have said there are components of the TDA gang operating in Aurora, but not to the extent of them taking over entire apartment complexes. Now, we have spoken to residents who say they have seen gang violence often, but today we heard from residents who say the problems in their building aren't gang related at all. We're here today to set the story straight. Residents at an apartment with reported gang activity say that's far from the truth. They say they're victims, but not of TDA. There are no gangs. There are no there are no criminals. Gladys Tovar lives here with her children. I have been here for a year and I have not received any kind of violence. Last week, one of their neighbors shared a different experience. It's really like being held hostage. Cindy's doorbell video shows armed men entering a unit. These neighbors say that was an isolated break-in. They claim the biggest danger here are rats and bed bugs, and the real threat is the property owner. The only criminal here is the owner of this apartment who steals from us every month asking us to pay for this living. CBZ management says the gang scared property managers away from another building off Nome Street. Gladys says they've been paying rent and nothing's getting fixed. The owner abandoned us. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman visited the building this week. In a statement, he says the goal is to get these properties under the control of owners as soon as possible. Can you pause it? You want to guess what party Mike Kaufman is a part of? He's a Republican, the mayor of Aurora, former congressman. He has been key in pushing this particular narrative, and I just want to note that as we continue to hear from the actual residents of the building, as opposed to taking the word of the lawyer of a corporate landlord and a Republican uh, mayor of a city. Also amazing that this uh, that this mayor was able to go into a building complex uh, taken over by uh, Venezuelan gangs. Um, 
It's also amazing that these uh, Venezuelan gangs have obviously been supporting these um, people who live in the apartments enough that they will come out and run cover for the gangs. And they're playing and, the long game, too, by filing all those complaints about unsafe conditions that were in, like, 2021 and things like that. You've also got to appreciate the commitment by these people who are living in these buildings. They have obviously uh, made their apartments look like absolute uh, hell as a way of protecting these gang members. Uh, it's fascinating. All is to get these properties under the control of owners as soon as possible. We call us, we call Neighbors say false information puts their safety at risk. A text sent to a resident calls them animals and threatens them with more firepower than you can ever imagine. Neighbors from other buildings are posting around where we live. They say it's time the city stop using a gang as an excuse. These families deserve the opportunity to have resources and time to move somewhere safe. Now, the mayor says the best course of action is to shut these buildings down. Right now, the city's attorney's office is preparing an emergency court order to clear the buildings where gang activity has occurred. These people want a meeting with the city first. We're live in Aurora. Well, you know, local news wouldn't have the incentive to play off crime if it, if it really, no. you know, if it was really happening, right? No, I mean, the irony is that you have got right wingers promoting uh, this story that this is being that these buildings are being taken over by gangs when the residents, uh, you know, are saying that this is putting us in jeopardy. Now, ostensibly, the reason why the people who are promoting this story that it's being taken over by gangs is because they care about the residents. Right. But yet they're not listening to the residents. And uh, I'm reminded of stories that we heard about crime uh, where you it came from corporations uh, that that put it out into the press. And there were a lot of outlets on the right that took it at face value and that didn't correct themselves when the companies themselves corrected themselves. Target blamed shoplifting for closing some of nine stores. And of course, it yeah. turns out that um, there were higher crime areas that they kept stores open. What they were basically doing is what a lot of these corporations do is. I'm going to blame my failure as a, the CEO or the CFO or the COO or the board of directors on choosing proper locations by saying it was a function of something other than me. I mean, it's uh, that corporate thing. I just remember a guy at Air America when I was like, you completely lost uh, like a market share and he's like well there were five decisions that were made that, that were out of my control they you know well i mean but 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 this is a lesson i think for people with in terms of media literacy right like look at who was making the claim <laughs> is it the party that is interested in offloading the responsibility of say losses or poor conditions in an apartment complex onto an outside uh factor that is where they can basically scapegoat certain people or scapegoat people who are poor or who are undocumented. Look at who is making the claim. This entire right wing hysteria came from the lawyer of the corporate landlord putting that out into the public and then the Republican mayor backing him. Um, and this is a problem broadly with these corporate landlords not being held to account and allowing apartments because they own property. And that's the, pri the, the that's a privileged class in this country, um, letting them fall into disrepair. And then again, blaming broader societal ills that fit their political agenda for their own failures. This is a, something that happens all the time. And you got to just read into the second or third paragraph before sharing some of this stuff. But I guess that's too much to ask for some people in the media. Trombone guy regarding Aurora, Anna Kasparian has been spreading this as well as Jank supporting comments. I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Seriously? We had an IM about this yesterday, but I, I guess I didn't connect that it was the same story. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.